not to love about the goats. <laughs> They'll eat anything you put in front of them. They'll give you lots of love back. They're a lot more entertaining to watch than mowers. What, sweetheart? Yeah? We'll go in and take out poison ivy, poison this oak, get rid of those invasives, and then a lot of times um, reclaim some spaces or um, fire mitigation, getting rid of a lot of the underbrush along houses with lots of tree line along their property to try to prevent wildfires. We've got the added benefit of that sustainability where they're keeping pesticides out of our water system, out of our water table and off, out of the ground. They're keeping weeds from becoming super weeds, all kind of with that cute wagging tail and boundless affection. <laughs> Though you don't pet them once they have poison ivy on them. I will, I will say that from experience. <laughs> The Moth Project is spearheaded by Austin Parks Foundation. Um, we've gone in there this summer for about two months um, to clear out most of the poison ivy and, and so far it's very successful. We haven't seen much of it come back and hopefully when it does it'll be a lot less of it and we'll continue to manage it. Our next stop is Barton Springs Pool that's recently been reopened. After that, had bids from the Lower Colorado River Authority um, and so hopefully you'll see us in the parks through the fall. He's stuck on a tree but they don't follow me. Come on, Fred. I am the goat lady, as my mom says with her play on words. I'm the president of the Bleating Hearts Club. Yeah, which if you have goats in a neighborhood in Austin, it, it tends to kind of draw a crowd. But I'm kind of happy for that. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the poison ivy kisses. Yeah, I'm going to break out of my face now. Sweet.